Welcome to the Night Hacking recap of the uh, Night Hacking Germany tour, which Sebastian and I went on. So my name's Stephen Chen. I'm the Java Community Manager working for Oracle Technology Network, and I'm joined by Sebastian. Sebastian Daschner. I'm a freelancer based in Munich. And we just finished a crazy tour of driving all over Germany on this tour route you can see starting at Munich and going uh, to a bunch of different user groups and events like the Java Land Conference. Um, so we're going to give you a quick insight into, into how much fun we were, we were having. The most fun you can have while still justifying this as work, community work. Exactly. <laughs> so here's, here's our bags before getting on the bike. Um, a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, not all of these were on the bike. <laughs> The two big cases not, but all of the rest. Yeah, yeah, the, the two big cases were my uh, uh, cargo for the plane and somehow everything fit inside of there that we needed for video equipment. And you you rode your own bike. To, to, why don't you explain about your um, your wonderful 636 here? Yeah, it's a um, Kawasaki Ninja 636. It's, I would say not the best bike to travel far, but it's, it's possible. Uh, still with the with the luggage, and yeah, if you have a a colleague who can uh, carry more luggage on his bike, <laughs> then this is pretty handy. So I was I was pretty impressed that you made it around with this bike because um, I was in relative luxury in comparison. So I was riding a sixteen hundred um, BMW touring bike, very comfortable, heated grips, nice big windshield. <laughs> 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 no comparison, yeah. I probably wouldn't have survived the, the first trip to Berlin, which you can see us here on the, the Autobahn cruising along. Um, ignore the speed uh, you know, the travel for, for the yeah, At least we were quite lucky on the weather on these days, so it was very cold, but at least dry. And, yeah, yeah, it wasn't too bad, and we also got footage the other direction, facing up from the tank. Journey to Berlin, which was the first stop. Um, why don't you talk a little bit about the the talk you're giving here? Yeah, we um, arrived at the Jack Berlin. Then I would say pretty on time, <laughs> as mostly. And yeah, we set up uh, all the uh, night hacking video streaming equipment and then presenting something. I presented about um, enabling hypermedia with Jack's RS and Stephen talked about. Uh, the RetroPie, which is this little green um, console you can see there. And the, the audience in Berlin was great. Um, they had a really big turnout um, and yeah. lots of engaged attendees, as you can, you can see here. And all of the events we did were um, live streamed or recorded, so you can see the recordings at nighthacking.com. Mm -hmm. um, and we had brought all of our own video and audio equipment that did the setup. I think we got really good at the setup by the end of the tour. We were, yeah. Setting up and tearing down about half an hour for setup, you think? Half an hour and then even less, I would say. Yeah, we got quite good. <laughs> um, and then back on the road to the stop to Hammer. Also, they were, they were a great, very engaged audience. So lots of lots of fun to present to these guys. Very serious, you can see, but they livened up and asked lots of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, we had lots of giveaways too. Remember the, the giveaways? Yeah, we uh, we had a lot of stuff. Um, more USB sticks, a little little robot um, uh, figure, and of course your night hacking stickers and a book. If somebody could uh, answer a really hard question, so <laughs> some of the guys got a book. Yeah, yeah, they were good. At every user group, somebody got the question right that we asked. Um, and I liked your live coding a lot too, because that was really cool to see you bang out um, an entire REST application with really good design patterns in you know, under an hour. Um, here's us in Munster. Yeah, yeah, Munster. Yeah, that was that was nice. I think I think Garrett has a a good future ahead of him as a as a tour guide. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he knows all of the two hundred churches in Munster. Yeah. We went through it like, oh, there's a church. Oh, by the way, there's another one. And that is the most important church, and there's the next church. It was like, <laughs> so yeah. Just, so if the hall, if the hall um, technology evangelist slash um, 
Java effects guru thing doesn't work out for him, he can always fall back on being a, exactly. a tour guide. Um, this was a kids workshop mm -hmm. at Java Land. Java which was, Land, yeah. That was really cool that they they did an entire kids workshop. And here you can see um, some of the girls who did not want to let now go at the end of the workshop. Very popular with the kids. Uh, really nice speakers dinner with. Oh yeah. Uh, all sorts oh, of crazy nice animals. Energy. You remember what they were? Um, we had ostrich, we had kangaroo, bee, <laughs> chicken, and a lot of other exotic fans. Oh, zebra, zebra. There was a striped zebra, one right. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was really good. I yeah, like I like Javelin. It's a really nice community mm -hmm. conference. Yeah. Uh, run by nice, the uh, community driven event. So. And of course, the theme park. That is, that is really cool too, to walk through it, hearing that theme park music and Riding a roller coaster at one evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty, pretty cool event. Um, so, we also did an early adopters area and a stage there. Um, so, why yeah, don't you exactly. talk a little bit about the early, early, early adopters area? Uh -huh, yeah, we set up the, the video equipment there and did a few night packing streams as well. And there also was a lot of content at the early adopters uh, area and hacker garden as well. So, a lot of little sessions and little informal sessions with a few people. Uh, we also did a Java E8 session with the new hot stuff, with, uh, which will be included in the new JSRs. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. And it was always always fun. Yeah, yeah, on the left here you can see our our motorcycle, which we oh, popped yeah. up on stage. <laughs> we decided <laughs> just because we can to, to set up a motorbike on the stage. <laughs> And that was that was fun getting it up. And down. We we missed we missed get the video recording on getting it up the stage, but getting it down was quite. We, we got a huge audience of folks watching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a couple of folks doing the video recording as well. Um, safety expert Kurt Pepperdine was our our resident safety expert on setting up the proper um, ramp to get off the stage safely and proper technique for driving clearance. So, yeah, no. Kirk helped a lot. He could work as a security officer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. And of course, you mentioned this earlier, but the evening activities of Java Line were lots of fun. So they, they open the park for us geeks, yeah. and then you get to run around um, doing roller coasters, and it's like a fun house here. You can see Rabia, Morris, Kirk Pepperdine, other folks running through a crazy, um, like, like, like big kids. It was a lot of fun. Even, even Morris. Didn't think he'd have fun, but he had a lot of fun. Um, oh, and we had a tragic accident <laughs> after leaving the ambulance. Yeah, that was really, really quite shocking. So, um, yeah, when when driving back from from Java Land on the highway, yeah, we were driving on the highway for uh, for a long time, and then you get a little bit sleepy after a while. And I and drove then... behind behind the truck there, and then the truck kind of um, switched lanes. And then suddenly a bird was sitting right in front of the highway. Yeah, so on the left there you can see the bird flying. Mm -hmm. I'll play it one more time just just so folks can get a good glimpse of the uh, the poor bird. I don't think that bird survives the, the confrontation. Yeah, I tried to avoid it but it was much too fast and bang and my left mirror unfortunately flew off and it hit, hit me slightly on the shoulder and, uh, and then I was way away, woke up again. When I was awake. Yeah. So was really yeah. Well, yeah. fortunately, our, we had our headsets, so I could warn you when things were passing in your left after that. <laughs> um, and then we visited Michael Hopper. Yeah, in Frankfurt. Yeah. In Frankfurt, there he's there on your on your right, our left. And he has some really cool stuff. He showed us a supercomputer. He showed us his crazy three D printed mesh, which um, it prints connected like that. Um, but then it has interconnects, which are flexible, so you can actually like it conforms to your um, hand shape in this case, or whatever you whatever you put it on top of. Yeah, that was really fascinating. I didn't I didn't even know that that was possible. It's really cool stuff. And of course, printed using Java. He has a Java-based constructive geometry library he uses for <laughs> for all of his projects. Um, next stop was Oom with with Wolf mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. Miria. That was that was tiring. We walked all the way up to the top of the tower. <laughs> all the how much uh, 600, 700 stairs? Uh, I don't remember. With a lot, yeah. one hundred sixty meters or something. 
good exercise. Um, yeah. And then walking around the woods with Wolf, taking yeah. photos. Yeah, that was kind of a relaxing weekend after the drama land and the talks and conferences. Yeah. Yep, so you can see Wolf and, and Miria. Um, and then this nice palace, well, castle we visited at the top of the mountain with a really beautiful scenic overlook. You can kind of see it in the background. The light was shining through the clouds and producing a beautiful, um, um, beautiful sunbeams in the background. And they also have really cool artwork. Uh, why don't you talk about wolves and I'll talk about mirrors. Yeah, wolf. Um, maybe you uh, remember him from, from Java 1. He did the My Matrix. So, um, well, a big matrix image um, contained of, uh, of small, small images. And he also does a lot with um, a lot of images combined to each other, like, like this, um, uh, like the one image from, from a person. And you have a lot of images from, from different persons which gets combined into to a single one. It's, it's kind of, yeah, the combination of all of it. Kind of a peaceful... Peaceful. Like it looks like, looks like a peaceful, gender-neutral, sort of happy person. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, and of course, again, he uses um, some technology from the local university, written in Java, to do the face recognition and matching up the faces, perfectly aligning stuff, and he puts the artistic touches to get, make sure everything is precise. Yeah, he has a, he has a lot of good ideas yeah, with this. And Miria is really cool work as well. So they kind of, they're both artists, but they have their own independent types of projects they work on. So Miria's focus is on hearing. Um, this is a workshop she runs with different um, sounds people can make. Um, she creates hearing nests out of um, wood, which she cuts out in different shapes and then creates these beautiful 3D visual art pieces out of it. Um, and then she also does, at conferences or other events, this... Um, uh, hearing where she writes down every symbol or um, every sound she hears very rapidly. So this is like hours or days of, of constant listening and writing in very tiny print. I think the, the colorful one is it's really nice. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it must take, take a lot of time, she said. For several hours and sometimes several days she just sits there quietly and oh yeah, that's... <laughs> That's another <laughs> funny thing, there, the helmet. Yeah, it's kind of cool. She created these um, clear hearing helmets, which lets you focus on sounds coming from you. From oh, yeah. Uh, it was really bizarre to put it on and kind of listen to yourself. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much louder with, with everything. Yeah. And then we visited Jug Bodense, which is yeah. really cool. They're actually, um, I think I was one of the first presenters there on one of my previous night hacking tours through Europe. Um, and they've been growing uh, really quickly. That we had twice as many people as last time I was there come out for this event. It was a lot. And also, a really engaging audience. Yeah, they had asked a lot of things, a lot of questions, and yeah, it was really fun. Um, and just to show people, it wasn't all it wasn't all good weather and happy times. <laughs> this was the ride home from Bodense. Maybe we should pick a better time of year for the next tour. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty brutal. Snow, sleet, um, salt coming up from the salty trucks. But it was, it was all worth it because we got to visit Tony. And this was the last event at Tony's place. He showed us his Duke, his Java powered sewing machine. Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea that someone was would be possible, but yeah. Yeah, so I, I think he reverse engineered the file mm -hmm. format and then created a Java program which generates um, designs. Design pattern, yeah. mm -hmm. And then he could give the design to the, the um, sewing machine to automatically print so you could embroider stuff um, on different materials. That's really kind of a, a, a interesting application of technology which is not particularly new, but um, yeah. is, is a closed proprietary format, so you really couldn't take advantage of the full power of it. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably some potential in there. And it's fun. Yeah, so, I mean, all in all, I think this was a really fun um, 
tour around Germany, visiting conferences, user groups, you know, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, <laughs> what was what was your what was your? I'm going to put you on the spot, Sebastian. What was your favorite part of the tour? Wow, <laughs> it's really hard to tell sorry. because all all of them were kind of yeah, kind of different. All of them were 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 good. I mean, I enjoyed Java Land a lot, but I also enjoyed the peaceful weekend <laughs> as recovering from Java Land. Yeah, doing and hard yeah, stuff also, with Wolf and yeah. Also, the jug meetings and giving giving talks to him. I would say all of them were really good audiences and quite good good talks from both of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I know. But the, we we should have the best meal contest. I think your steak on the last day with the special ceramic burner was the best. That was the best meal of the tour. Yeah. So good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so thanks very much for watching the short overview of our night hacking adventure through Germany. Um, you can watch all the videos at nighthacking.com. Mm -hmm. yeah. Check out the um, recordings both from events, interviews we did along the way, um, and all the pictures and um, short movies which we posted. And, you know, hopefully you guys can also be inspired to do something similar with um, touring, supporting the community, and visiting different user groups throughout the world. Exactly, and then also record a screencast from that. Yep, absolutely. You to, if you don't publish it on social media, it didn't happen. Exactly. <laughs> All right, thanks very much, and enjoy the recordings. Yeah, thanks for watching.